And here in Lagos, President Muhammad Buhari has inaugurated the Dangote oil refinery in Ibejuleki area of the state. The refinery, which is arguably Africa's biggest oil refinery and the world's biggest single train facility, is now ready for operations. The plant covers a land area of approximately 2,635 hectares with the capacity to process 650,000 barrels per day. The Dangote Group said the refinery will be churning out premium motor spirit, diesel, aviation jet fuel, and dual purpose kerosene, among other refined products. It has been stressed for many decades by huge deficits in economic infrastructure. And over a decade of insurgency has also been severely impacted by several external crises including the global financial crisis, the collapse of oil prices, the coronavirus pandemic, and the Russia-Ukraine war. The consequences of these challenges constitute a severe strain on our economy, limiting government's ability to provide basic infrastructure without resorting to huge borrowings. Our government, therefore, took the decision to focus attention on creating an enabling environment for the private sector to thrive and fill the enormous gap in investments, not only in infrastructure, but also in all critical sectors. Now, for more on what Nigeria stands to gain from the newly commissioned Dangote refinery, Let's speak with an oil and gas expert, Balazaka. He joins us live via phone. Good to have you join us. Thank you. So a lot has been said um, about this particular refinery and, and its benefits to Nigeria's e economy. But we understand that, look, this is go probably going to provide about 30,000 jobs. Um, how significant is this particular project for um, the country's economy? Uh, it's positively significant. Uh, just like the way uh, parents uh, will be happy if, if a child does well or children uh, do well, uh, it is in like manner that uh, political and economic leaders of nations will be very happy if their individuals and I mean, individual and corporate citizens uh, do well. Uh, Dangote management or Dangote refinery can be technically described as uh, a corporate uh, citizen. And uh, what has happened today uh, is good news for, for, for the, the country called Nigeria, is good news for the West African sub-region, is good news for the continent of Africa, and is good news for the global oil and gas industry, especially uh, the downstream sector. But because, you know, people are so excited about this, um, and one of the things they say, for, you know, is the reason for the excitement is that this is likely to trickle down and then we're going to have more fuel in the country and prices will reduce. And then um, people also say that, look, probably we would stop having fuel shortages in the country and the scarcity we see. But how true is that um, in terms of, you know, one of its benefits? How, how much is this going to trickle down? Well, uh, definitely it is going to bridge gaps uh, in terms of uh, the abundance or sufficiency of the different uh, refined petroleum products that we technically describe as uh, distillates. But uh, after the commissioning, there are certain things that will need to be put in place. And uh, it is uh, based on that that I'm calling on all Nigerians, all lovers of Nigerians, all stakeholders, but most importantly, the government, uh, to make sure this private initiative crystallizes into something that will be beneficial to Nigeria, the West African sub-region, and uh, the continent of Africa, and uh, global humanity. And some of those support and requirements we're talking about are this. You know, now that the commissioning is over, crude oil will need to be supplied to, to the facility called the refinery. And we will also expect to enjoy from uh, petrochemicals. The questions, uh, some of the questions are this. 
are the pipelines ready for the supply or conveyance of the crude oil from the oil wells into Dangote refineries? Are the uh, rail lines available? So if the pipelines are not uh, on ground, then that means there will be a way of conveying the crude oil to the refineries. And if, there will be, if that will be carried out using trucks or tankers, then that means there will be additional pressures on our roads. But if the pipelines are being constructed and the rail lines are being constructed, I don't want to believe that they have finished the construction. So we are likely to create some time and be patient so that the full crystallization will take place. Then there is something, please, I will want uh, Nigerians to, to, to take into consideration. We should understand that uh, though the Nigerian economy will grow, there will be development. We are going to see employment across different uh, job descriptions. We should understand that the Dangote management or Dangote refinery is a private initiative. We should also try to remember that Dangote must have gotten funds either from uh, creditors or financial institutions or from shareholders. So if the funds are coming from creditors or financial institutions, Dangote must maximize profit, remain profitable to be able to pay back debt and the cost of debt. And if Dangote got the funds from shareholders, shareholders must be paid dividends. So to that extent, we should be fair to Dangote and should not Tations, basically. That will treat us the way Nigerian mm. government will treat us that is supposed to provide goods and services for citizens. All right. Dangote is a private initiative. We need more Dangotes. We need Dangotes in education. We need Dangotes in health. But we should be a bit patient. Mm. Most importantly, looking forward, government should be able to help Dangote, looking at the size of the refinery, let there be rail lines across the West African sub-region such that we will have our depots in all the countries in the sub-region. Before you know, Nigerians will be the accountants there, they will be the engineers there. And in that way, I mean, Nigeria will create or build what we call economic regional power and regional political power. Let me know, in fact, no doubt. Uh, we'll see how things play out. But very interesting point you made about this being a private business and then probably we should all manage our expectations. Thank you so much for talking to us. Oil and gas expert, Balazaka.